In this video today, I am very excited to share with you that it is our first plant sale of the season coming up this afternoon. And today we're gonna to be getting ready by lugging some of the plants around from the backyard to the front yard. It can be as easy or as hard as you wanna make it. And we're gonna find out today if this is the beginning to another successful season growing in the backyard nursery. So I hope you'll come along with us as we get things in order to have a plant sale here in about seven hours. Stay tuned. Just to avoid any confusion, this video is being filmed over the course of two days. Our sale was Friday and Saturday, and this is gonna recap all of it. We will count the money, see how we did today, uh, because we all know that's why you came to watch anyway. And by the way, if this type of content's helpful to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I would appreciate it, and you'll get notifications of all of my new content. Thanks. As we're getting ready this morning, I wanna show you a few of the plants that we're gonna actually be selling today. Understanding that it's early in the season, today is April the 9th, and we don't have a huge variety of plants at this point that are ready to sell. They're just still, most of them are still not far enough along in their waking up from winter, but we've got a lot of plants though that do have some nice growth that they've already put on and they just look spectacular. And the time to sell these plants is when they're ready. It's not once you have a thousand of them ready to go at once. The time to sell your plants is when they look nice. If that means you only have a few, then only sell a few. But don't wait until your plants are starting to look a little tired in their pots or once they've after they're bloomed or uh, after they're already past their peak. You wanna go ahead and get those plants sold as soon as you can so they can get in somebody else's yard and somebody else can begin enjoying them and so you can get their money out of their pocket and into yours. In my other videos, a couple of my other videos about bleeding hearts, um, I showed you where I potted these up right around the end of February, I forget the exact date, uh, and have showed you the progress of these bleeding hearts as they have gone through the last several weeks of uh, spring warm-up. But here they are now, there's about 90 of them I think here sitting just in absolutely gorgeous full bloom. And, and here's what happens, people come walking up in my driveway and they see these little heart-shaped blooms and they absolutely lose their minds when they see these plants and they leave with four of them or six of them or 10 of them and then they get on their phone and they go call their mother and then mom comes down and she buys two or three or five or 10 and the next thing you know we've sold all of these things so we'll see how the afternoon goes but um, we're not going to start our plant sale till about four o'clock today but i'm guessing that between four and six today and then again tomorrow morning which will be saturday that we're going to sell most of these bleeding hearts. One of my other favorite plants that we sell a ton of out of our backyard nursery here is this dianthus called Fire Witch. It's just an awesome little plant here. I think there's about 50 of them here that are potted and they're just starting to bloom. But if you kind of look down through there, you'll see these are absolutely loaded with buds and they're gonna explode into this color of pink here in just the next few days and weeks. Here's the beauty of the Fire Witch Dianthus. Every single one of these that you're looking at, we propagate ourselves. So we have no money at all into them with the exception of potting soil in a pot, which adds up to about 30 cents. Uh, we propagate these ourselves and in two seasons, they go from a little cutting off of one of the plants to a ready to sell $6 retail plant. And these things sell like mad. These are coral bells over here and just a, um, just a really striking variety of red coral bell that people love to buy. There's, I think, 20 of them or so sitting here. I've got another 50 of them, I think, over in the shade house that just aren't quite up to snuff yet to sell, but these also will be a hot, hot This is sell. a spirea called Gold Flame. It's a nice little mounding shrub. Oh, to grow to about two feet tall and round, and with time, get even bigger than that. I've got about eight or 10 of those here. These are my daughter's plants. Uh, she grows in the backyard also. One of the great benefits of backyard growing is having your children or your family involved with you if that suits your situation. And these are thornless blackberry plants. These are variety triple crown and they're always people looking for edibles. And the thornless blackberry is really hard to beat. Again, this is a plant that we propagate every single one of these here. We have no money whatsoever in these. 
They are a great, great seller. People never buy one of them. They always buy five or 10 or more. So uh, looking forward to having these out in the driveway today. Now I'm inside my shade house. It's covered with plastic for the winter. Be taking this off in just a matter of days, but this is where the magic happens for me. And it's because I am a hosta lover and all of these hostas in here are emerging from their long winter's sleep. All different varieties emerging. There's some oak leaf hydrangeas there. More hostas in the back. Those are actually more of my daughter's hostas. Just more perennials that'll be ready in a few weeks, not ready yet. Even more hostas, another hundred back there in that corner. Uh, more of the red coral bells here that I showed you out front. A few more hostas over here. And we're gonna set some of these nicer looking hostas out in our sale today. Even though they're still a little small, I think they'll sell well despite that. People understand that they are just emerging from the winter and they should sell this afternoon. And here are my green giant arborvitas. I think there are about 25 or 30 of these that I will have to sell today and tomorrow morning if we have enough. I'll be really surprised if we don't sell all of these. They're such a great, great selling plant. Um, right over here to the side of them, the kind of purplish maroon shaded plants over to the side are purple leaf sand cherries, just another fantastic shrub. Again, we propagated all of these so we don't have any money in these with the exception of the pot potting soil and fertilizer. So maybe 30 cents per plant will sell all of these for $6 each. That's just a rundown of some of what we will be selling today. So uh, now it's time to get to work. Watch this. Okay, so here's our uh, little setup for our plant sale this afternoon. Just a few of everything we have, but you can see that it doesn't take a ton of plants to have a plant sale. There's about a hundred plants out here right now. And um, back in the backyard again, there's probably that many more of those bleeding hearts and there's probably that many more of the blackberries and there's a few more of these purple leaf sand cherries, but this is pretty much it. So now we're just sitting here waiting for four o'clock to roll around and we'll see if anybody shows up. We really hit this thing out of the park for such a short sale and a short period of time today. And there's only about 40 plants left out here, but I've reposted them on Facebook and plan to try to see if we can sell the remainder of them in the morning, mainly bleeding hearts over there, a few blackberries, a few uh, fire witch dianthus, and just a few miscellaneous plants out here. And uh, we'll see if we can sell them. Okay, it's Saturday morning and this is all we have left. We've just sold in the last 45 minutes, another 50 plants or so, a few bleeding hearts, a few blackberries, and we've got everything we have from around back brought out front. And this is all we have. So it's been a terribly terribly successful morning and friday afternoon yesterday so we're gonna go inside and see how we've done today so here's the money we made today and minus our change and i'm gonna just count it out and see how we did it looks pretty good though one Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hundred and ninety dollars. Wow, really an amazing plant sale. One of my top sales I've ever had for an early March. It's really, really an outstanding Friday afternoon and Saturday morning, and a total of about four hours of selling plants. We scrounged up everything we could find from the backyard and took it around because people kept coming and kept buying. And once we were wrapping up, people were still coming and we were turning people away. Just wanting to show you the success that you can have as a backyard grower, even when you have a small yard, even when you live in a neighborhood, uh, even when you don't have the most experience growing and selling plants, you can have a great day just like this selling plants from your own backyard. And you can repeat this over and over through the hot selling time of the spring plant season. So I wanna just encourage you today, to take up backyard growing, at least as a consideration for a side hustle that could actually change your life. Savvy Dirt Farmer here signing off. 
Hope every one of you watching is having a great day.